Hello knockout users everywhere. I am about to reveal to you that you do not have to use JavaScript in your knockout applications. Instead, you can use Java. You can code in Java and at compile time, that Java code can automatically be converted for you to JavaScript. This gives you all the type safety that Java brings over JavaScript. All the advantages of Java are, are available to you as knockout developers. To show this in practice, we're going to take the Hello World example from the Knockout site, which has an HTML side and a JavaScript side, of course. So here we have an input element that is bound to a property called first name. And here that property is defined, an observable property. And we have another input element that is bound to a last name property. And you can see we have a computed property, which consists of a combination of first name and last name, and is bound to the third input element. And finally, we have, of course, our KO apply bindings with um, our view model being initialized with planet and Earth. And in this first demo, we're simply going to do exactly what you see here. We're going to create an HTML JavaScript application using this code. And then we will move that to Java. So let's um, get started to create a simple HTML5 application. Um, and we will put it into a special folder that I have prepared called hello ko users and call this one sample one click next uh, specify we want to use knockout so here's knockout and click finish and we have our knockout library let's put our knockout library into our HTML file. We'll add a app JavaScript file. And inside of this, we're just going to copy all of this content. And there it is. And we will copy the HTML content into the index page. We need to register our app file. So here is all the code. Simply copy and paste it into our application. We deploy it. We can deploy it to Chrome or Firefox or wherever we like, but let's use the embedded browser. And here we have our Hello World example. So make this hello and press enter. You can see automatically we update the full name based on the first name and the last name, the full name being computed by this computed property here. Now, what we're going to do is write the same application in Java. So create a new application, this time HTML5 with Java application logic. And we'll give it a project name. So I'll call it so sample2 package or demo. Click next. It's going to not only be written in Java, but it's also going to be packaged for Android. And if I had iOS, we could choose iOS, but I'm not on the Mac. Um, and we're going to package it for display in the browser. So not only do you get uh, Java support, but you also get built into this um, the possibility of generating an APK file um, and a, a um, zip file containing your complete uh, public HTML site from this particular um, set of projects. So we have our starting point has been created. You can see here we have a project for Android. So this is where the APK file will be generated. We have a project for the web. So here we'll have a zip file with all of our JavaScript files. And we're also going to have a Java desktop application. So we don't, we could use the browser on the desktop, but this, this is a standalone Java application that will be created for us. Some sample code is, is already found in the application, so we're going to remove it. And you should notice that all the coding that we will do is inside of this particular project. We're not going to touch the other projects. So we won't touch the Android. We won't touch the web. This is just places where um, APK file and a zip file for, for, for the browser is going to be generated for us. All the coding we do inside here. So this really should be called client for core. So this is the, the core part of the application where the source code is found. OK, so we get in here, and there's some sample code that's been created um, for us. And we're going to delete all of that. So we'll just delete this test, because this test is not going to apply to the code that we are going to be writing. We're going to delete all of this sample code here. 
and let's delete all of this and we're going to be left just with that okay so let's start by first of all cleaning the whole application so removing the the sample code that has been um, that we had at the start and we start from scratch so we have a clean application there's no target folder nothing and now we start with the actual coding now in our original application we had this um, first name and last name these observable properties so this is the way we do it in Java we just declare it at the top here in these annotations first name and last name and this will these annotations will result in those properties being correctly generated at compile time in JavaScript. So here we have our first name and our last name. And you can see that this is going to be our computed property. And the computed property will return a string and it will be named full name because that's what um, we have to find um, in the index.html. So there's an index.html file as well. So we go to the index.html file and again we have some sample code that's been created and we delete this uh, sample style sheet and we delete all of this this is the sample code but what we leave in here is a reference to back to browser js so this is a vm that will convert our java code to javascript so uh, let's not call it words demo uh, it's called hello world and again we will copy in here the HTML that we have up here. Copy and paste it in there. Okay, so we have a first name, a last name, and a full name. We go back to our data model and let's just clean this up. And this will return exactly as in the JavaScript a first name plus a last name. That's it. We have exactly the same in Java as we had in JavaScript. And when we build the application, what will happen is that JavaScript will be generated. Now, the main class is the entry point of the application. And you can see here we have the apply bindings, exactly as we had that in our JavaScript. That's the equivalent that we have here in our Java code. Set first name is going to be planet. And then the last name is going to be Earth. Okay. And we'll just have, this is all the code that we need here. And you can see that this main class connects our index page to our Java code. So the equivalent of in our original index HTML file of registering the app.js file is that in the Java, in our Java approach to the same code is to register our index file instead of our Java code. So on page load, a um, data class will be generated and inside of that, there is a first name and a last name. You can see here, here is all that code that's generated. And it is generated because on the data model, we have said that the class name that will be generated for this data model is data. So we can actually browse that code. You can see here is a set name and a get name and get is and setter. So all this Java code, don't have to type this. Um, this is just generated for us and this will be converted into JavaScript. So that's the um, basic idea. Um, now, Let's uh, build the, the application. And what we will find is that as we build the application, the Android APK file will be created and a zip file will be created that contains the JavaScript um, and the public HTML folder and everything you would need for creating a website with this uh, code. Plus, you will have a, um, a plain uh, Java desktop application, so you could display this inside of a browser on the desktop, or you could have your own desktop application, create your own inside of which you display your application. So here we have some content already. Um, so here's the target for, for Android. And here the APK file is being created. And in the web, you can see here this is a zip file. And the zip file contains public HTML. And in the public HTML, what we have is the sample to JS. So this is the JavaScript equivalent of what we coded in Java. 
And in addition, here is the, the, the VM vector browser and our index HTML page. And um, you can see here that here sample our sample JS file is registered. So this is all um, generated for us. Um, and in the Android application in the target folder here, you can see that we have an APK um, being created for us. So we have everything we need. Let's take a look at what this looks like. So this is our standalone application. And here we see our hello world. Okay. And how would this look on a mobile device? So you can see that we have support in this JavaFX um, desktop application for different uh, resolutions. And when we open the navigator, the web browser, not the web browser, when we open the browser DOM, we can connect these two sites together so that you can see I'm moving up and down in the browser DOM and I can then see in this um, Java desktop application where components are found and vice versa. Click on items in this view and I can see where they're, I can see the, the live DOM view um, in the bottom left here. So that's the Java desktop application. Um, now let's run the web application. And here Grizzly is going to start up. Grizzly is the server used here. And then the application will be deployed, the browser will open, and we see the exact same application. Um, because, of course, it's using the same JavaScript as the application we saw in our desktop application. So, hello, uh, press enter, world, press enter. So, there you go. So, the point here is we wrote this entire application using HTML and Java. And the other point is we have a distribution for Android, potentially for iOS, for the, for the web, for the desktop, all generated for us. And the third nice thing is we're using Maven, standard uh, build tool for creating um, all kinds of different uh, software applications. Um, to do all of this, the technology that we are using is called JukeScript. So JukeScript brings Knockout to the world of Java. Thanks and have fun with all of these different technologies and let the uh, JukeScript community know what you think of it. There is uh, contact information, there are discussion forums. Um, join this really interesting new project and get involved with using Knockout in Java.